Good morning, I'm meteorologist Bo Dotson. It's August 3rd, 2016. We've got some very heavy storms in the area this morning. It's about 7.35, 7.40 in the morning. We take a look at National Weather Service radar out of Paducah, Kentucky. You see this very heavy storm over Randolph County, Illinois. The storm is producing some strong winds. Radar shows 40, 50, 55 mile power wind gusts possible in the storm. Could also produce a downburst. Uh, the storm's moving out of Randolph County into Perry County. May eventually move into the Mount Vernon area as well. Well, I suggest keeping an eye on it. It is an intense storm. Uh, officially, there's no warning as of this recording, but there could be a warning issued with it. We also have an area of showers and thunderstorms from Vandalia, Illinois, back towards Marion, Illinois, and then down into Massac County clipping part of northeast McCracken County as well. Uh, now we will have scattered showers and thunderstorms developing today. We have an upper level disturbance moving in from Missouri and you see a, another area of rain out here in central Missouri. Flash flood warnings issued overnight for parts of Missouri. There's been a risk of flash flooding through this area over the last 12 hours. If you were with me last night you might have seen that I mentioned that there could be some torrential rainfall totals. Now rainfall rates with these storms again today much like the last month uh, probably going to be in the one to three inch per hour range i was just looking at rainfall totals from this randolph county storm already some two two and a half inch rainfall totals showing up so it doesn't take long for the rain to come down and to cause some problems the main concern today will be flash flooding although i can't rule out uh, some severe weather as well. I don't look for a severe weather outbreak or anything, but some of the storms could produce damaging wind gusts, uh, an isolated downburst. These downbursts are very difficult to warn on. Normally no warning is issued. A downburst winds can be less than a block long, less than a block wide, and they can take out a few trees, cause tree damage, winds 50, 60 miles per hour. By the time the downburst occurs and by the time the downburst is over, it's too late to really issue a warning. So just keep that in mind during the summer months that thunderstorms can occasionally do produce damaging wind gusts with little or no warning. <clears throat> now the warnings that you normally see with severe thunderstorms would be something like with this storm where it had a more organized wind field and was moving across a larger area. Then the National Weather Service normally will issue a warning. Okay so we will have off and on showers and thunderstorms today. Because of the clouds we probably won't reach those peak 92, 94, 95 degree temperatures. If the sun comes out we'll pop into the 90s but if the, if the clouds and precipitation linger today we're mostly going to stay in the 80s. It'll be a much day high dew points into the 70s uh, we'll have on and off scattered showers and thunderstorm chances at least into the weekend when a new cold front moves through on saturday and sunday and that front may also stall out over our area that means continued chances of showers and thunderstorms perhaps in the early next week we'll have to see if the front stalls north of us south of us right over it that's a question mark for the weekend uh, if the sun comes out on thursday and friday same as recent days you'll pop into the 90s heat index is about 100 degrees and then uh, if you're in the clouds and precipitation knock a good four to eight degrees off those temperatures keep keeping you in the 80s for the most part. All right, I hope you have a good afternoon. I'll be on the Facebook at Bo Dotson Weather, also under Twitter at Bo Dotson. Don't forget you can visit the website at weathertalk.com for the radars and blog and everything else. Have a nice day.